Welcome in, everybody. Ty Bartow in with another edition of Player Profile as I'm with the Austin Town Fitch Libero, the defensive the lockdown libero for the Falcons. Izzy Dorenzo joining me today. Izzy, how are we doing today? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. I know you're coming right off of this uh, playoff win against the Solon Commons, so that's always a good feeling moving on to the next round. The uh, the senior season extends by another match, too. I guess we'll start there. Talk to me about that that feeling now that uh, that playoffs have started, postseason has started. Every The next match could always be your last match, too. How's that feeling going out there and playing now that it's postseason volleyball? Um, you know, it's a lot. I'm excited. I'm, I want to go really far this year and just – improve and just leave in like good terms for my last time at Fitch as a, as a libero. You are first team all AAC. And I mean, with good, a uh, good reason because of your defense, you've seen a great amount of hitters this year and you've been able to, uh, to thwart a lot of great swings from great hitters on great teams this year, but the schedule you guys play and the, the type of talent that you see across the net from you, what's it like preparing defensively for some of these top talents that you face off against and, and trying to get prepared for how they're going to be trying to put it down on you? Uh, I just have to look at their short shoulders where they're going to hit it at and like just get completely stopped and just make sure my platform's there and just trust trust everything else and hope that it goes right to our setter. When you talk about being a libero, you got to get down and dirty. You got to be willing to take some bumps and bruises along the way. When you talk about your your development into that position, was that always something you started in? How was it? Uh, how did you get into the position of libero? When did you fi- first find yourself uh, being the, the rough and tough uh, the rough and tough girl on the court? Um, it wasn't until my sophomore year. I was originally an outside hitter for JB, and then in tournament play we. I got pushed up to starting libero for varsity. And ever since then, I proved that this is my position and I know how to handle it. And ever since then, I improved and just showed who I who I am as a libero. Is there any fear? Was there any fear to deal with in getting into that position, being the one that has to take all the dives and, and go save and everything? Because it feels like you play fearless every time I see you. Um, In the beginning, when I started libero in club it was a lot just mentality like I had to fix that and just get in a state to just stay calm and always be positive and it was hard at first but after I got into the mental state that I can do this and I shouldn't be like nervous or anything it became a lot easier for me I know you are a multiple sport athlete, so you're constantly working, constantly practicing your craft. Talk to me about that, the time commitment that takes to and what it takes for you to, to be great in everything that you, uh, you're you able to participate in. So I only just do club, but it um, sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes I'm just able to manage it, manage it and like just work on whenever I'm at practice, just work on where I am right now and don't let and don't focus on anything else except for that and that just like proves a lot how many hours you think during the week off off of practices do you think you're practicing your craft or working on on volleyball related skills um I don't even know like every (laughs) day like I always have to work on it and even off the court and not even in practice just working on my mentality is number one and trying to find ways to always like stay focused and not let negative thoughts or anything come in my mind when I'm on or off the court. From freshman year to now, what's the biggest thing you think you've improved on? I definitely improved on passing and moving my feet in like, uh, I don't know, freshman year, my passing wasn't the best, but at the end, like I started to show who I was and like getting balls up because I was originally a middle hitter And every time I was in the back row, I would get balls up and like just show that I could play like all around. And as the years progressed, I showed that I can do this. And and yeah, as a person, what have you grown the most in from freshman to senior year? Just like staying positive and like knowing that if you let the negative thoughts get in your mind, it can go into all your other teammates. So the main goal is you staying positive and encouraging your, like and to make your other teammates stay positive too and don't let anything else like get in their mind. 
One thing I say too to a lot of older generations is it's tough to kind of gauge what kind of challenges student athletes face in the modern world. I mean, I, I'm only seven years removed, but I feel like there's even a bit of disconnect with me and and modern students. When you talk about what it takes for you to be not only good on the volleyball court, but keep those grades up too, be a good student athlete too, what kind of pressures does that bring and what kind of challenges that does that bring? Um, Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's late nights. I have to stay up just to study for a test the next day or getting all my homework done on time because I don't like getting it done late or not being on time or anything. And sometimes it's it could be a lot and stressful, but I always have to get it done. And once I do, I feel a lot better and stress free. What's that support system like? Because I know that's not something that's that's easy, and it's not easy to just do by yourself, too. What's the support system like around you, too? Who's some of the, the big ones that you turn to? Definitely my parents. They always help me, especially with my homework or um, preparing for tests. And then my siblings will help me, too. Like, they'll call me and, sh like, help me with a problem if I'm stuck or anything. Mentioned the parents. Was it the parents that got you involved in volleyball? When did the volleyball journey begin? How did it get started for you? It was probably my sisters used to play when they're in middle school and a uh, little in high school. And I always played with them and I just wanted to always play. And I didn't start until seventh grade. And I was very happy that I decided this was my this was my sport. When you talk about starting it at seventh grade, obviously there's going to be challenges in that. Talk to me about how much you had to work in that, too, to get yourself into being a varsity level player. I mean, you got to be so proud of how you how everything's turned out for you. I mean, you talk about your career with Fitch, too. I mean, an all star level uh, libero. Um, it was a lot of work, because especially because we used to be D1 and stuff. And I just had a it was hard being on varsity, especially freshman year. And I used to be a hitter and I thought I would be able to hit varsity at but I stopped growing and I knew I had to change things up to prove to myself that I deserve a spot on varsity and that I'm capable of playing this position and showing that I can bring success to the team. It's very admirable from you to be able to do something like that, take on that challenge and find success. And I'm sure there's a lot of younger players too that maybe even are in that seventh and eighth grade right now level too that are wondering maybe should I even go out? Is, there, is it even worth it for me to try to go for it right now? What's some advice you give to them? What's some advice you give to those freshman level players coming into varsity right now on getting to where they want to be and getting to where maybe they see where Izzy Dorenzo is playing right now and the level you're playing at and, and they want to be able to kind of match that level you're at? I'd say just work hard every single day and where I'm at, just definitely work on your mentality because that brings a lot to the game and shows who you are as a person. Just don't give up and just keep working hard. When you talk about seeing only success throughout your volleyball career, I mean, just district, I mean, uh, conference championship after conference championship, getting to districts multiple years in a row. I mean, there's a lot of success that runs through this Fitch volleyball team. When you talk about that kind of success, do you feel like there's a standard that needs to be upheld year to year? And do you feel like you guys have tried to help set that standard for Fitch volleyball? Oh, yeah. I, Ever since that we won the first time for our conference, I just knew we had to keep going and keep keep winning every single year and like don't give up, work hard at every single conference game that we have and just prove to everyone that like who we are as a team and that we're coming every single time and we're going to win. When you talk about being one of the senior leaders this year too and stepping into that kind of big leadership role, being the the voice one of the voices of the team, what was that like for you? Did you kind of feel fish out of water at first? That was it a comfortable uh, experience for you to kind of be that leading voice for the team? It was different. Um, I used to not talk as much, but I like realized at the beginning of the season, I have to I can't be the quiet one anymore. I have to have a voice and especially like help the other girls out and like especially if they're like stuck and like stressed out like I know I have to be there and like have to like cheer everyone on. Four years at Austin Town Fitch you've had plenty of teachers along the way plenty of subjects that you've participated in what's uh what's a couple of your favorite teachers what's a couple of your favorite subjects that you've gotten to do during Fitch? Uh, my favorite was probably algebra two and anatomy were probably my top two and my math teacher I had my sophomore year was definitely one of my favorites. 
Who was the Who was the math teacher? Give him a shout out. Give him uh, some Tina Kabaki. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say she been there for a, for a minute too, and that's a legend. That's one of the legends at Austin Town Fitch, no doubt. When we talk about just being able to to have success both athletically, having success academically. What does it look like now for you looking towards the future a little bit? I know you still got some some weeks, obviously. You just finished the first nine weeks with uh, with high school. There's still some time left in the in the uh, academic world. But what's it like looking ahead, looking to your future? What's it like looking towards after high school right now? So after high school, I want to – I'm planning on going to Kent State to – Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> to study uh, radiology and become an X-ray tech. I'm obviously going to be a, be a big fan of that too. Kent State alum myself as well. What was it about Kent though that drew you to be wanting to become a Flash? Um, my mom does work there and it would be easier to go there and it's close to home. And um, I keep hearing from everybody that ra- Kent State has a really good radiology program and I just want to go where they teach it the best. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of uh, of the college, too, and I think you're going to have a great time as there as well. I might be a little bit biased, though, <laughs> as well. I want to give you a chance, though, to shout out some support systems, shout out some big names that have been there for you along the way, and some people you wouldn't have been able to do this whole volleyball journey without. Uh, definitely my parents, for especially waking up and taking me to my club tournaments and coming to every single game of mine, and my grandparents and all my siblings for supporting me my whole four years at Fitch. You've been giving a lot of love to your parents, so I'm going to have to ask, what's one thing that you've taken from both uh, mom and dad? What's one thing personality-wise, maybe trait-wise, maybe maybe bad habit-wise that, that you do? What's what's something you've taken from mama? What's something you've taken from dad? To always work hard and never give up and keep pushing forward. It's been instilled from the parents and it definitely can be seen with you, young lady, as well. You've been one of the hardest workers at Austin Town Fitch and you can definitely see it paying off on the court as well as in the classroom. I'm so excited for what you're going to continue to do, Izzy. I know you're gonna, your future is super, super bright and I'm just excited to see you shine. Thank you. This has been a first edition with the Falcon Libero, Izzy Dorenzo, one of their senior leaders.